Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. This is Rouge the Goth, and in today's video, we're gonna be doing a Shein jewelry haul. Woohoo! Um, so yeah, we're just gonna hop right into it because, you know, who wants to wait to jump into the video? Without further ado, here we go. So for the first piece, we have this bracelet that I got from where? Shein. Um, it has three skulls on it. The like connectors are like barbed wire and the hooks are circles. They're kind of over like oversized, but I don't hate it. It's a good quality bracelet for what it is. Um, you might need to spray it with some like shellac. And no matter how tight you tie it, it's still have it on. <laughs> no matter how tight you like put it, it's always gonna be kind of dangly. There's these rings, it came in three set and they're gold, which I usually don't buy. Um, I'm more of a silver girl. Um, but yeah, they're non-adjustable. The black is in the background and it's a sun, a star, and a snake. <laughs> I have to like, <laughs> it's super cute. Um, they do feel like medium quality, I would say. I would give it out of quality from a one to five. I give the rings a three. So the next item, I was extremely excited about because I was like, oh, no way. It's the Regal Rose, I don't know what they call it, but the Regal Rose dupe of a ring. And I thought that was a steal when I first saw it on the website. Let's hop on into the review of the item. So the ring is cute. I'm not sure how big compared to the Regal Rose it is. Um, but I feel like the detail is pretty much there. It does feel like a two out of five for quality. Um, it is adjustable at the back. Um, and I feel like if you adjust it too much, well, adjust it a little bit more than where it is on my finger, it might pop. And I'll, just, I'll, I'll tell you why that's important. So remember when I said, if you adjust it, it might pop? Well, that's this ring. Um, so I ordered another one <laughs> and here she is in her glory. It's a super cute ring. Quality wise, I'd give it a three out of five, maybe a 2.5 out of five, to be fair. I feel like this ring is gonna need a good coating of shellac. It's adjustable in the back and it sticks up pretty high for what it is. I just, I also feel like if I hit it too hard against something, the little crystal, not crystal, but the little jewel will pop out. So let's, let's hope that's not the case. But it is Shein jewelry and I just bought it to try it out and see what their jewelry is like. So I'm sure it'll be fine. So next up we have this coffin ring and it's just a guy in his little coffin chilling. Um, the detail in this ring is really good. For the quality, I'd give this like a four out of five for sure. I love this ring. I did spray it with shellac. Um, it does seem to be turning a little bit there, but like I, like I said, it was Shein, it was a couple of bucks. I got this necklace to also match. Um, it didn't come together at all, so I just put it together. Um, but isn't he cute? What the heck? What is he doing in there? Chilling? I wanna chill. Um, the only downside about this necklace is the chain that it comes on. It's it doesn't feel like the right type of chain. The chain is really thick compared to the rest of the necklace. I feel like a, a thinner chain might be okay. But for the, like I said, for like a couple bucks, I'm not complaining. For the last necklace that I have, you've all seen this one before. This necklace is my absolute favorite necklace that I got from Shein. Um, I do have a nickel allergy, you know, by the way. So I do have to wear this necklace with like uh, turtlenecks or something something where it's not touching my skin and if it is touching my skin not for that long it is this bat fox combo of a necklace I love it the detail on it is just the detail on the wings is is better than what the actual bodice of the fox bat is it's supposed to be a bat but um, and this actually also comes in black and red, but I didn't get the red ones. I give it a, a solid four out of five for quality and I would happily buy it again if it ever broke. We are off to accessories. For their first accessories, I got these pink 
purple like sunshades it's giving y2k out of, for a quality i'd give it 3.5 out of 5. And the little case that it came in is good quality i suppose it's about a four out of five to me for the next piece we got these glasses i'm not sure why i bought these but the quality is nice it's a good four out of five but who knows they might grow on me um to a concert or something that's outside that's what i'm getting from these they're not protecting your eyes from the sun at all we have ugh, the black glasses so these are the big ones um that i have they're very see-through as you can see um and the the frame is really hard to clean it always looks like it's like foggy on there and it's not my favorite thing it's also not my favorite thing that you can see through them i give them on a quality scale i'd give them a 2.5 out of 5. not my most favorite next up we have the smaller square ones <laughs> they're semi see-through again very hard to clean the lens you see all the smudging oh my goodness it was hard to clean <laughs> and i was i was trying but it, it didn't really work too well anyways um it's cute i think it's a good like sunglass when you're wearing a lash like a big lash um i wasn't in this clip but you get the gist um quality wise i'll give them a three out of five and last but not least in the glasses category we have my favorite These little almond shaped sunglasses. Again, hard to clean. I don't I don't know what that texture of material is, but it's hard to clean. It wants all the fingerprints. Um, but these aren't as see-through. And the quality, I would give it a 4.5 out of 5. I love them. For plastic sunglasses, this is what I ask for. You know, these are it. My favorite piece that I bought out of this round. This harness, you guys, it's absolutely amazing. I love this harness. Was it hard to put on? Yes, it was very hard to put on. But when I put the listing, there's a comment. If you decide to buy this, there's a comment in there and the girl shows you, or she tells you, was like, she says, don't go by the heart because it spins around. Go by whatever she said. I'm not sure she said. Um, but she tells you how to put it on and it's super helpful <sighs> yeah i love this harness quality i give it because it's not like plastic it's like like a bra strap texture um but yeah you will be seeing her oh that was all the jewelry and accessories that i bought recently from Yen, and i'm excited to buy more but i'll also be doing a another haul coming soon i'm so excited for you guys to see thank you so much for watching this video if you like the content you see please give it a thumbs up for me um and comment something what was your favorite piece what what would you buy because i just want to know tell me what you bought down in the comments give me a subscribe if you'd like to see more content from me thank you so much for watching i will see you in the next video